People laughed at Kanye. He didn't care. It wasn't important enough to him in his life. His albums didn't sell. He didn't care. Because that wasn't important enough for him in his life. People accused his wife of doing things with other men. Didn't change. His sneakers don't sell? Oh, hell with this. I'm doing everything different. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so... Yeah. Kanye West has backed up off of his political rhetoric. You heard it here first. Well, probably not first, but hopefully not like 20th. Hopefully I'm not like the 20th place where you've heard this. Anyway, so Kanye West has backed up off of some of his, his political rhetoric that he has had of, as of late. And it's if, if you really pay attention to why he's changed his views, personally, a lot of people, myself included, believes that it goes back to his sneaker not selling. But let's go real quick so everybody can know what happened. So there's this, this, this organization called Blexic. For everybody that don't know what Blexit is, basically it means like blacks exiting the Democratic Party. Basically, that's what it is. It's like for the people who are black people or people of color, I would just assume, that are Republicans and decided, you know, that, that see themselves as black and decided that they don't want to be a part of the Democratic um, the Democratic Party any further. So they're Blexic. I, I mean, what the hell, man? That, see, that's, before we go any further, that's the shit that I hate. Why, if you're going to go be part of something, do you have to also now create a whole nother, another name for it? Why can't you just say, well, we're just Republicans? Why now we got to be Blexic? We have to point out the fact that we used to be Democrats and we chose not to be Democrats anymore, and now we're going to be Republicans. So we, we, we're this whole subset. We're not part of the the overall community, but we're, I mean, come on, man, people. We got to stop just you know, making ourselves seem like less than we are. Anyway, so there's this young lady that's part of Blexic that's basically Republican. She's a conservative, let's say that, conservative. And she decided to send out some, she did something in Kanye West's name, basically. Basically, she did something, attached Kanye West's name to it, and made it seem like it was Kanye West doing it, and in, in contrast with her doing it. Now, check this out. I think this has been going on the whole time. I think the whole time we have been seeing Kanye West being involved in all of these fucking shenanigans, I think that a lot of these shenanigans that we've seen him involved in is other people putting him in position to do these things, and these, none of these things are his own design. He's just doing certain things for whatever his reasons might be. I don't know. But it seems like he's decided to stop doing these things because right here it says, TMZ reported, Candace says she never once said Kanye desired the T-shirt for Blexic. Calling it a lie. She added, this is a lie that seems to have made its way around the world. A lie. I would like to again correct the record. Kanye was completely right to feel used in that regard. And as I have done personally, I would like to publicly apologize to him for any undue stress or pain. The effort to correct that rumor has caused him. His business relationships or his family. He simply never designed it. So basically he's being accused of designing a shirt for Blexit and he don't like it none. She goes on, uh, the, it goes on to say, Candace also said Kanye's tweets were aimed at me and only me, rightfully for my personal failings. So whoever her bosses is, they told her to eat all of this shit. Whoever was the, whoever the people that's like, her bosses, they said, this is on you, baby girl. This is on you.
Kanye West then goes on to say that he feels that he's being used to spread political messages, and now he's done with it. Well, of course, Kanye, they, they've been using you for a minute to spread all types of different messages. Come on, my dude. You serious? For everybody that don't know the Yeezys, these new Yeezys that came out, they're not really selling that well. They are not. And if you know anything about the Kardashians, the Kardashians are all about that bag. Okay? They're about that bag. So, just so we're clear, this initial problem that he has with Blexic has to do with the fact or the assumption or whatever it might be that it was said that he himself had designed some of their clothing line. And I guess the reason why you would say he designed the clothing line because that's going to get more people to decide to purchase. And then hopefully that could make him like a spokesman, you know, for people of color that might decide they want to be openly conservative. Just so people can know where I stand, I think people should just make up their own minds about things. I think that, just so we could be clear, I think that, People need to worry about not just the overall giant votes, you know, voting for the presidents. But, you know, why aren't you out there finding out who's running your city council? We need to be doing that. We need to be out there, you know, finding out who who are, are politicians that are on the ground politicians. You understand what I'm saying? The politicians that got a got an office in our neighborhoods. We need to deal with them more because they're going to be able to help us more than... The fucking senators, the senators, they're worried about all of America. Let's go get involved and have a relationship with our politicians, with our community leaders that, you know, their job is to help the community that they're currently in. That little six, seven block radius, that 12 block radius, that, that borough that you might live in, that small town that you might live in, that city that you might live in. You no, know, we need to be focused more on going on what's, what's happening with them. If we find out what's going on with, with those ground, with them with them politicians that got their feet on the ground, you know, that show up to events, then we could affect the overall political landscape much easier. If you think you're just going to wait to see who's going to vote to be president and that's going to change the world, that's not the way it happens. Anyway, Kanye West has said that he's decided he's going to step away from politics. After, bit, after they misrepresented him as a designer behind some conservative personality. The new merch line, Blexic. He said, look, man, I'm not taking this. You know what I'm saying? And y'all not going to be doing this to me. Y'all not going to keep using me. Also, I just want to let this be known. <laughs> he made it a point to say, that he does not have a problem and he is not separating himself. Basically, the president, President Trump, still his friend. That he made a point to say that. He doesn't, he's just saying that these niggas, these new niggas, watch out for these new niggas. I'm not with them. Kanye West also decided to send out some tweets so people could understand his exact position and what he, at least, you know, the story from his side. One tweet reads, I introduced Candace to the person who made the logo and they didn't want their name on it. So she used mine. I never wanted any association with Blexit. I have nothing to do with it. Now, can I just say this much? So the dude made the logo and then he said, look, man, I'm going to do this thing for you. But I was never here. <laughs> That's basically what he said. Look, man, this thing that you need done, I'll do it. Because I ain't got much of a choice. And I want that money. But I was never here. And then he also sent out another tweet that said, My eyes, after after this happened, obviously, after, after I mean, I mean, both of these things are after it happened. I'm just saying this was the second tweet. My eyes are now open. And now... Realize I've been used to spread messages I don't believe in. I am distancing myself from politics and completely focusing on being creative. I think for me, I mean, it's, that's way past that mark for me with Kanye. I don't understand why any of us pay too much attention to political figures that don't have our best interest in mind. 
entertainers that don't have our best interest in mind and anyone just in general that don't have our best interest in mind. When I hear somebody that makes $20 million say he's a Republican, right? I'm not mad at him. Republicans have his best interest in mind more than they have my best interest in mind. I'm not mad at him for doing the thing that is going to benefit him and his family. I'm not mad. I'm not talking about murder. I'm not talking about stealing, robbing, nothing like that. I'm just talking about having a political standpoint. That's it. When I hear people that make $45,000 a year talk about how they're a Republican, I shake my head. I'm like, yo, you don't have your best interest in mind. You're busy trying to side with the people, with a, with a political position, with a party that believe that the people on the low end of the totem pole, the people at the bottom of the pyramid or top, however, which way you want to say it, the people that are the 99% need to pay for everything while the 1% skate. So none of that makes any sense to me. But people do have a right to believe what they want to believe. If anybody decides that they want to follow Kanye's political viewpoints, Kaepernick's political viewpoints, fucking Kermit the Frog's political viewpoints, you have the right. But remember, the choices that we make today affects the world that we live in tomorrow. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.